same colour. <laughs> yeah, same colour. We're just going to have a little bit of fun today. Nothing too serious. I'm Phil. I'm Diba. And we have got some gifts. Some gifts from Gregor. Thank you, Gregor. And what we have, well, one of them is in here, but we shouldn't look at the colour too much, although you can't really tell the difference anyway. Maybe I shouldn't even tell Deepa. Glen Goyne Teapot Dram <laughs> is one. We have a Macallan Terra. Uh, where's that one? I think it's this one. We have a Bal Blair. It's probably a light one. I'm at the three. Ah, it doesn't matter. We have a Feta Cairn and a Lagavulin at cask strength, I believe. But we haven't really done these in the blind taste yet, so I'm going to hang on to these for when we reveal something. I have to remember. But because we have revealed this one, Glen Goyne, I thought we'd do a little sherry shootout. So, thanks Gregor again. We have mixed these up. You've already seen. And I think we should just, um, like I don't know what they are now. I've got little labels on the bottom for later, but we'll put some names up for you. So let's keep them in this order now. And we'll time lapse it and give you a little rundown of what we feel are in the glasses or which ones we like. On the nose, what are we getting? Musty bananas. Musty bananas? I get a bit more like spicy orange on this one. What about that one? Banana? No, I don't get banana. Netherlands. Sweetness. Well, they, they are similar, aren't they? Spicy orange as well. But that doesn't surprise me. Oh, a little bit sulfur, actually, a little sulfur matches that time. I get a little bit more caramel on this one, I think. Or a little bit more sugar. That one? Try that again. Mm. Uh, summer fruit. <laughs> summer fruit. It's summer. There's less in this one, isn't there? It seems just less powerful. More powerful. A lighter mm. orange. I thought, but I don't know. Stalker. Yeah, there's a there's a deeper meat to this one, but it's and yeah, I'm doing the summer fruit. I get I get sort of a treacly sugar underneath this one, and a bit of light light sulfur matches, which I like the I like the sulfur thing on this one. Reminds me of Highland Park, which it isn't. So if you were if you were judging the nose, which one would you where would you score them based on nose? Light. Ooh, that's don't oh no, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, on the nose. On the nose, I think I'm I think I'm here on the nose. Right, so you like the lighter one and I like the sort of slightly sulphur. Okay, let's, uh, we're going to go to taste. We'll talk in a minute. Okay, a little bit of flavour notes. Let's start over here. 
So I'm expecting orangey spiciness in here. Mm. It's light. It is sort of honey orange. Rolls into a little bit herbal. Slightly bitter finish. Anything else? At the moment, I do have to get a stash of the orange. Yeah, orange zest. It's dropping. It's really bad. The nose is a little stronger than the palate, I think. Hmm. A little bit more bitter that time. Oh, I feel like I just want more of the orange or sugar sweetness to come up, and it's just a little light. Yeah. Let's. It's interesting. Let's go over here. So I'm expecting a darker, heavier flavour than this one. Mmm. Oh, that's quite savoury. Now that's got a little bit of, um, it's like it's got a little bit of Springbank 10 mm. mixed with Oban 18 or something. About the Oban. Yeah. Because it's got that herbiness of Oban, but it's stronger than Oban. But it has a little bit of that sort of weird hay stuff going on of Springbank, isn't it? Walking with the forest. It's, um, it's not s sweet the way I was expecting. Mm. An almost bitter apple. Yeah, it's towards the bitter side. I bet if you go back over here, this will seem quite soft now. Mm. Yes, it it seems mm. weak by comparison. A softer, a better, an impressive. So I would have to. I can't remember which ones. This one's mine. Yeah, so then I, I think I have to go between the two at the moment. Let's see if this holds up though. This one smell. It's almost like, uh, you go first. It's almost like slightly burnt caramel, little toasted caramel, sort of deep flavors. I mean, deep noses. <laughs> It's very thin, very soft. It's making me very mm. odd. Mm. It is thin. It has that dark flavour. A bit like, you said, a bit like the rum. Rum. Now the finish. Now the flavours are actually relatively thin. Mmm. Mm. A little to the bitter side, like a bit orange zest, mm. bitterness again, and a bit... Um, of apple? Yeah. I think the nose is better than the taste. Mmm. Mm, so okay. I'm going between these two now. I think they need water. Okay, I'm I'm moving over. Substance. The nose, the nose isn't flimsy at all. The palate goes a little lighter than expected, even though it's it initially tastes strong. It sort of dissipates.
Okay. So in last place, we have put, well you will know already, is the is the Glen oh! This is Glen going twenty one. I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm very stuck. So I have to move down. No, because you don't know what else is in here, oh, do you? That's true. And this is Yes. <laughs> oh, I've never, I've never, I've expected to be very peppery, but it is not peppery. Yeah, now it has been in the bottle open for a while. It's not peppery at all. Oh, shock. But we've kept them in the same position. But I put it in second and you put it in first place. And it is in fact. What is it? From Gregor. It's Glen Goyne Teapot Dram. Deep. Teapot. Teapot. Teapot Sam. And it is a younger version at cask strength. It's a... And uh, it is... What's the ABV? 59, I think, or 57%. So... Um, uh, but it's an ABV, but this is... 43. 43 and 46, I think. Yeah. Let's try a drop of water. 59. Now, I I wouldn't say it tasted like 59, but... I, I, it's better than 39. Yeah. I mean, obviously I knew what I'd put in the glasses, so I suspected what I, it was. I, I, I liked it very much. I thought it was like going the butt from. Yeah. Wow. It's a distillery only bottle. How many years stuff really? They don't say. No. So, so it's a Probably thing. less than fifteen, more than ten. But it's worth the first time. Oh, it doesn't make so good. I got a bit more of a pepper mm. kick with the water. I was wow. I don't you mm. want to stop? Don't you want to your mind? I was going to give the note, but I thought it would sound silly. But it does have a little bit of a tea flavour to it, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> like there's been a bit left over in the teapot. But um, there is a bit of sort of orange honey tea or something going on in here. Honey, honey, honey tea. Cheers, Gregor. It's a bit of a tea, but honey. It's beautiful. So that means... I need you to try this one. We go back here. Get a try this, at this. And the teapot dram. <laughs> it's probably right about here. We'll put it with uh, Glendoronic. You want to try what? I will try this do again. In other words, Deepa just wants to have another drink. No, not really. I just want to double stick. Now that I know, I know the plant. I'm going 21. No, the uh, ooh, stacking effect. I don't you know the plant. I've decanted the 18 into a smaller bottle. The smell is quite weak. Yeah. It is soft, isn't it? 20, uh, 43 ABV. 23. It's pretty good, but not amazing for me. If you hadn't had something stronger though, and you just had this. Hmm. It's no, it's really nice. But it suffers the same thing as the Oban 18, where you enjoy it and you just want more. Mm. You want like, oh, just turn it up a bit. It's a bit too soft. But but whatever I put, it's pretty good. It's impressive. And let's see. We'll try that again. We paid about $143 for this one, which is actually cheap for it over here, but we've got it from the UK. It is the 70 centiliter bottle. The teapot dram 
I think is about £100, so it's not far off in terms of price. And uh, the Glendronic is a similar price here, although we got it a bit cheaper from the UK. Right, off you go. You go and have your own drinks. We're just going to sit here and taste a bit longer. It's interesting. My mind knows that it's supposed to be peppery. So for the first time, but after I said, oh, it's peppery. Mm. But I never asked peppery free before this. Before I know it's the plan. I think it's mellowed since the first time we blind tasted. But it's making peppery a bit. No. Not too bad. Mmm. Oh yeah, that's good now. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's kind of got a rich treacle to it. Mm. Mm. I think it's the best. Mm. Oh, yeah. I better, I better drop a stick. <laughs> I can see my mind. I knew you were going to do that. I have, I have a many week. What, since Sunday? Oh, you mean this one? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I prefer this. I, I've never been a fan of this. I've noticed. I think I'm liking but, it. But it's very. The, no, but I think. No, I feel it all. Go, wow. The second half is fantastic. I did not like the first half. No, not here. It's from you. Mmm. Nice. The first half, I don't like it, but the second half is fantastic. Okay, so uh, so only drink the second half. Yeah. 